Uh, and let me say this. I almost backed out five times. Because I tried on five outfits. And every outfit was said slim. Sit your big back ass down. And I said, okay. And we can ride the book and share the beat of love. <laughs> y'all this is miley ray we had her for two days she was no problem at all um thinking about getting another dog y'all and y'all see tony love knocked out over there in the seat so um we were invited to a 50th birthday party this it was family and kid friendly um one a friend of mine her brother who suffers from down syndrome uh turned 50 and it was a really nice event, very much um, family friendly, kid friendly. Tony had a ball, met some other kids her age that she was able to talk to. I was just out being social. I am being intentional about being social these days, y'all. We just catching up in this video. So yeah, I have been saying yes to more things these days. Like I in the past have just said no, just because I like to be in the comfort of my own home. And I have very much been in hermit the crab mode for the past few years however i ain't saying i'm outside outside but your girl been low-key outside you know i've been doing my little thing i've been being a little social and um yeah we enjoyed ourselves at the event I'm gonna be one thing I'm gonna be is late. So it's 8 19. I won't get to where I'm going until 8 
40. Child. It was supposed to be 8 o'clock. Then I said, okay, I'll be there by 8.15, 8.30. And I'm still not meeting that time. I'm still uh, getting there at 8.40. Y'all. And let me say this. I almost backed out five times. Because I tried on five outfits. And every outfit was said slim. Sit your big back ass down. And I said, okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. So, yeah. Yeah. With every outfit, I, I almost backed out. I almost backed. I, I, I actually did back back out five times, and then I backed back in. I, a bitch was in the house playing double dutch with this date. Like, in this outfit, child, whatever. We can make it happen. I didn't get to put no lashes on because I spent so much time overthinking what to wear that I simply just had to. This is what it is. Child, I ain't get to put no curl. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, despite how anxious I was prior to the day and how many big bad moments I had <laughs> uh, trying on outfits I really enjoyed the day I'm so glad I said yes the company was amazing the food actually was amazing we went to an Italian spot in downtown Fayetteville and then after that we went out and had a few more drinks at another local bar it was a nice little chill day nothing too much nothing too fancy but I'm glad I said yes so again y'all your girl outside I'm just in the season of saying yes and you know enjoying myself because you know you gotta live you gotta live rest stop and step. we decided to come over here to the dog park see tony love back there this was her idea i said it's probably just a dog park but we can be one with nature for a few minutes i guess child we just had to pee so yeah i look like my mama i don't want you to get dirty right y'all see that mcdonald's it's definitely stuck in the 1990s like i was blown away i was like tony she was like what's wrong with that mcdonald's i said child that's what it would it looked like when i was your age but anyway we are headed on a road trip for tony to um take part in her little quarterly mommy daddy daughter outing but yeah she went to visit her dad for the day and um we vlogged we had a good time she enjoyed herself i'm glad that they were able to spend some time with each other. Um, yeah, it's definitely September 15th, and I'm about to put up fall decor. I definitely just went into the closet and pulled out boxes and stuff, and yep, let's go.
But yeah, happy birthday to me. I spent my birthday sick in the ER. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> but I was able to be 100% better in time to celebrate my daughter's birthday this year. We went on a little trip to Winston-Salem, shopping spree, of course, all her favorite places. And then the next day we went to Great Wolf Lodge and we had a ball. So she really enjoyed her birthday. When we came back, it was time for her to open up her gifts. Um, she didn't want to open her gifts until we came back from the little weekend trip. So um, yeah, Tony enjoyed her birthday. And really that's all that mattered to me. I was fine with that, but yes. And I'm happy to be in the land of the living, but for sure for my birthday, all my plans were canceled because I was in the hospital. Sick as a dog. Yeah, it hasn't started yet. Hey y'all, I'm Renee, this is Renee's World. Welcome freaking back to the vlog. Let's get into it. All right y'all, so I hope y'all enjoyed the little mashup roll up that y'all just saw. I just been living life. Like I just really been living life. How they say life been life and life was life and, and you know, I'm back again. And don't, not too much on me not too much on me it's been all the things y'all it's been all the things like um i have missed vlogging i have missed creating content um but i just have to be like true to who i am and i know that i'm the type of person that like when life is life and her things pick up i do feel like i am easily um distracted or i'm easily knocked off my track um by situations so that's just me being true to who i am which means i'm getting out of the military <sighs> oh yeah and don't mind my nails because i do have a concoction going i'm about to put this rinse wrap in this acetone and finish soaking off these nails because i do have an appointment tomorrow so don't try to come for me about how my nails come y'all like <sighs> I'm such a freaking Libra. I be Libraing, and I act off emotions a lot of the freaking times. And I know that about myself. Like, and so I act off emotions, and then like situations and life and all the things. So yes, I did sign the declaration of service statement. How are we are? I submitted a reversal. So don't judge me. I'm staying in, I'm retiring, I'm going for the 20 years. Yeah, all the things. So I put that paperwork up recently, and so we're just waiting for that to play out. But, yeah. Oh, also another thing, y'all see my locks are out. Um, another thing that I've been trying to do is like be up my like 
hair care because like I just like that's one of the things that I noticed like girl you, you wanted healthy long hair and now you have healthy long hair and you ain't taking care of it so I've been trying to take care of my locks actually this past week was my first time wearing my locks out by themselves to work so normally I have like twist over my locks or um they'll be like split I mean like um plaited or whatever but I like I literally just put my hair in a ponytail and wore it to work all this past week and everybody was like tripping out because a lot of people I don't deal with a lot of people outside of work however the events that I do go to outside of work nine times out of ten I'm wearing my locks out and people that are at those said events will be like oh my god I didn't know you had locks da, 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 da. they're beautiful they're healthy da, 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 da. and I'm like yeah I have locks I just don't wear them in uniform and so now that's one of the transitions that I'm making in this next chapter of my life is um I'm spraying away all the way away I'm not gonna say all the way but I'm really like putting the wigs on the back burner because now really my hair is so long it's really become my uh, annoyance to put all of this hair up underneath the wigs for work i say for work because for for the most part when i'm not in uniform i have my locks out but every time i go to work i felt like i had in my mind a certain look for sassar and harris and that look wasn't with locks so that filters into me picking it up when it comes to my hair care like so I have an appointment to get some lock maintenance done and all the things because I don't want to always have to wear like the hair wraps or whatever to make my hair look neat I want my hair to look neat on its own so lock care my hair so I'm trying to take my content to the next level like I really feel like um I have it in me to be consistent with this channel and whatever that means like like if consistency means I post once a month then damn it i'm gonna post once a month if it means i post twice a month or every sunday which is what i'm actually gonna start shooting for is like putting out content every sunday i want to put out some damn good content though i don't want to be half-assed it or just just to say i have a youtube channel or just to, like no i want to put out some good content and that's what i plan on doing so i like i've been brainstorming and connecting with people and networking because i want to take it to the next level and Taking it to the next level requires me to do a little bit more investing financially and time frame wise. So be expecting things to get a little bit more, the more, and very much next level, and very much ooh, taking it up a notch. And if y'all see smoke going, y'all already know I got an instant bring it over there. Don't come for me. Don't come for me the content i do plan on doing like parodies lifestyle decor still what i've been doing but i just want to take it to the next level